Great to be joined by one of the legends of the game, the godfather ground and pound, the man himself, Mark Coleman. Mark, really good to talk to you. Uh, one of the primary reasons I'm calling you is uh, about a mutual friend of ours, Dave LeDuc. He's back in action and fighting for the first time in Letway on US soil. He's fought plenty of times in Asia. Letway is pretty new to the US audience, but damn, is it exciting. You know, nine limbs, head butts, bare knuckles, knockout only. First of all, uh, how do you know Dave? Um, I, I just kind of just started following him on. Uh, well, I love Letway to begin with. I've been, I, I've loved that sport for a long time. But I just uh, come across him on uh, Instagram and started following him and started uh, messaging him, and uh, we we became friends. A lot of respect for each other. Um, just uh, I like what he's all about. He's hardcore, and uh, he's not afraid to stick his head in there <laughs> they have when, butts. Did you, when did you first hear about Letway? What, what do you like about it um I, I don't know when i first heard about it. it's been years few years but uh i i guess uh what drew me to it was the the headbutts you know the, the, the legalized headbutts and that was uh, my main weapon back in the day before they took them away so i, I love the fact that you can headbutt and people don't realize um the technique involved in, in delivering a headbutt. People just think it's a headbutt. I, I had no technique, but when I threw my headbutts, uh, there was technique involved in, uh, and uh, that, that's probably what drew me to him, just seeing how, how good he was with his headbutts. But he, he's good in all areas. He's uh, just a, uh, I follow him on Instagram. He's just such a hard worker and his mindset seems to be uh, right where it needs to be. So he's got himself a rematch against Cyrus Washington. When they first fought, Dave arguably was not the man he is today. So how do you see this one going? Do you think it's going to be a big statement? Um, I, I can't honestly tell you because uh, I don't know enough about the other guy and I haven't seen that way enough. But uh, um, speaking to Dave or texting with Dave, he's incredibly confident and watching him work on Instagram. I, I know he's prepared. So um, he's very confident. So if he's confident in himself, I'm confident he's going to, he's going to do it as well. But uh, this, uh, this Cyrus guy is uh, the real deal. He's pretty badass. Sometimes when you see a guy in a certain discipline, you know, whether it's Floyd Mayweather boxing or, or, you know what I mean? They look like they were absolutely born to do it. And sometimes I feel that way with Dave and Letway, you know, he's fought Muay Thai, he's fought MMA before, but he's at his best when he's fighting with all nine limbs. What is it do you think that makes him special at this sport? Because he, he really does seem like he was born to do it. That's a good point. That, that's what I see in him. It, it, it's his sport. Letway is, is made for him. Uh, he, he seems to have no fear and uh, he needs all nine limbs and he uses all nine limbs. That's it, it's made for him. Let, let way is, is made for Dave LeDuc for sure. I'm not sure if you're aware, but uh, let ways on fight pass. Now world let way championship has been on for a few years. I don't know if you've had a chance to catch it at all. What do you think of it? And do you think the U S is now ready? Because it's been around for centuries, but maybe it's only in the last few years that it started to, you know, be so available on Fight Pass. Do you think the U.S. is ready, and do you think it could be popular there? Um, if they can get through the barriers, um, um, they don't like headbutts in America, so um, they, they're going to have a lot of barriers. The American people will love the sport but they have to get through the, the barriers just like the UFC did in the beginning. They're going to have to fight some battles just like uh, BKB is doing bare knuckle boxing. It, it, it's a sport that could take off, but again, the UFC is not going to want them to take off. So they'll probably try to keep them down and they may do the same thing to let way, try to keep them down because they don't want no competition, but the American people would love that way. Yeah. So, and just, uh, I just remember back in the beginning the, the struggles that the UFC had with the, the violence and the, the headbutts for one, they didn't like the headbutts at all, but uh, they, they, it, and it, it's kind of, it'd be kind of hard to clean up the sport of that way because it would completely change the sport. So uh, let, that way is special because of the, the nine limbs that are available. So um, 
but they got they got in Wyoming, so that's a great start. I'm I'm really happy, really excited. I, I wish I I wish I could be there. I really want to I really want to get up close and watch one of these lightweight fights up close. This would be a great one to be at. I think it's going to be a savage war. Well, that's what I was going to say. It's a real big step, right? This is the second Letway event, the Sparta taking place in Wyoming. Wyoming was the place where BKB started as well. So yeah. I don't know. Do you feel like something's coming, that appetite for this? Because in the last, what, two years, BKB has kind of blown up. You've got Bare Knuckle coming out of England as well. And uh, yeah, with them being allowed to have shows, you know, that's a huge step. And maybe Florida is next. So I don't know. Is there a sense that people are kind of, this is the kind of stuff they want, something a bit more pure with, because the rule sets are, are stricter than ever in MMA now, right? Yeah, the rules were very strict, cleaned it up, and, and, and that's why they, that's really why they climb so big. But at the same time, um, if it's up to the American people, I mean, uh, take away the rules. For me, the less rules, the better for me. So I, 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 every rule they took away kind of hindered my game. And um, that way, uh, it's, they, they got it going in Wyoming, so um, get, bless Wyoming for for letting them in there. And uh, I'm I'm sure they'll be able to get other places. Uh, I, I I think maybe it's going to be a struggle to to blow up because um, mainly the headbutts. But if you take away the headbutts, you take away that way. Did you see Dave's fight with Seth Baczynski, uh, where he won the title? Did you catch any of that? Just caught the highlights. I, I just could there's, there's so much fighting going on out there. It's hard to keep up with everything. Uh, I would, uh, you know, I'd like to squeeze it in and, and, and check it out. But uh, I'm definitely going to check out this fight this weekend. I'm, I'm excited about it. He's a good guy. He's always been kind to me, and I, I respect him. And, I, and I, I've learned, uh, I've learned from him. Uh, from his videos. He loves to train his neck and I'm a big fan of training the neck. And I, I, I tagged Matt Brown in one of his videos where he's training his neck. Cause I push Matt Brown every day to train, train his neck. And uh, I'm, I'm getting through to him because he, you know, strong neck is uh, where it starts. I don't know if Matt has actually been a name that's kind of been linked, you know, these rumors to, to fighting in Letway at the end of his career. I, you know, I mentioned Seth Pashinsky. Do you think some of the more hardcore UFC fighters would be up for this? The ones that do want a more free rule set? I, I suppose some of them, but I don't know if, uh, I don't see uh, too many guys that could be successful. It's a, it's a whole different sport. Um, I, I guess some of them could. Uh, Matt Brown would. Uh, I think he'd be fine in there too, but not not many guys. I don't think it's a it's a different breed. And it, it, like like we said earlier, Dave Dave LaDuke, uh, he was born for that way. But I also see him if he focused on it. If he really focused on it, I could see him doing real well in MMA as well. I yeah, think, I think he could be a rope. I think that's one for the future, for sure, for Dave. Um, all right, I just want to ask. Dave? How old is Sorry? Dave? How old is he? He's 28. He's just a baby. <laughs> yeah. Holy crap. He's just a baby in his prime. He's got so much. Oh, man, that's exciting. He's in his, he's just getting into his prime. 28's just getting there. So, wow, I expect big things out of him. But you got to stay healthy. I mean, uh, you can't control. You can't control in injuries, but you you can't uh, you have to train hard, so you can't be training to avoid injuries. You got to train just as hard in practice as as, as the fight, and uh, injuries are part of the game. They got me pretty good. Well, I wanted to ask you. Uh, you know, you always said that the freer the better, right? Uh, so. I 